Okay, so the first step we're going to do is we're going to remove the stylet right here. You're just going to twist and pull it out. This can go aside. And the next piece that we're going to do is remove these six screws right here. And the whole back will pop off. So go ahead and do that. Alright, so here is the back end of the one I just replaced. And it actually looks pretty good. I'm wondering if this is a newer back end. Um, not quite sure, but this looks a lot better than other ones that I've replaced. So I'm not 100% sure if this is because these batteries, before these batteries, I've been locked in with a, a strip right here that goes over three screw terminals and it gets screwed in. But this one doesn't have it, so I'm wondering if this is a brand new back, sort of brand new back end. Um, but it's still going to re be replaced anyways. We're not quite sure how old these batteries are and it does look a little bloated. Yeah, it's looking a little pregnant here, so we're still going to replace them anyways. But we've been keeping the back ends. If there's good back ends, without very many broken screw posts then we'll keep them um, this one is not looking too hot so unfortunately we're gonna have to throw this one away too so but yeah the next piece is this is the brand new back piece right now so what we're going to want to do is put on our ESD band and the LED driver is right here. Well, the LED board is right here. So you're going to just want to remove that. There's a single screw holding it in. And there is a connection piece in the back. So just remove that. This screw can go to the side. Here's our brand new one. Pull it out. It looks exactly the same. Hmm, go figure and we're going to just slide it just like that and plug her in and I don't know anything about if there's any torque values that we have to adhere to but I'm just gonna lightly tighten it down there's no instructions at all with this so not 100% sure but uh, yeah, so the next piece is to plug in the battery itself and the stylet. So the battery, there's only one way the battery can go in. It has to go into this terminal up here and the stylet gets plugged in right down here. Alright, so the battery gets plugged in, like I said, right there and the stylet gets plugged in with red closest to the outside and gr black in the middle gray towards the rest of the PCB. Um, so after that we're going to try and route these wires away from the screw posts right here and just try and not pinch them. It'll be a little bit difficult because they're unfortunately dead on into being pinched but just try and get around them not being pinched after that. They also give you brand new screws and washers so you can reuse the old ones or you can put the new ones in. Most of the time the washers actually stick inside. There's no screw in this one but the washers are stuck on the inside so I just go with all these brand new ones so go ahead and do that then. Alright so the final step in this whole process well, the final assembly step is to put the washers in the holes, which is there's going to be six black washers, and you're going to want the longer screw here. So go ahead and just assemble the whole piece and let it charge for. I don't know, I would, these are lithium-ion batteries, so I would say probably four or five, maybe even eight hours. Um, it'll actually give you a, whenever it's done, it'll turn green, the LED will turn green. So just charge it up until it shows that it's green, so 
I've never actually kept track to see how long it takes. I just usually keep it on overnight. And then I'll give it to the crews in the next morning. So but that's it. There's really not much to it. Not much to it at all. So it's a very easy process. Very expensive battery, but everything in healthcare is expensive, right? So thank you guys. One other thing, they also provide a brand new serial label piece on the back, but they don't provide the serial number for the old unit. So what I like to do is, I like to actually create a label and I use, I think it's 6 point font or my, excuse me, or my label maker and I'll actually stick it on the back of here and then stick it on there because they actually give you a marker right on it but it's going to be very difficult to do that so it looks a little bit more professional if you write it or if you use one of your label makers so I recommend using a label maker trust me I tried it the hard way um, but that's that there's the whole thing's been put back together back end front end I don't think they actually have a front case but um, we abuse the hell out of these things, so I'm surprised the front case hasn't broken yet. But uh, everything is everything is golden, so just just hook her back up, and if everything worked right, you should you should get your video going. Yep, there we go. We got our video video feed. So thank you very much, guys.